All right, it's Robert and Terry and Tyler. And we're about to take the axe down here. I think it's right at nine miles down the river to the takeout. So we'll keep our eyes out for some good places to pull over and if we find anything cool to look at, we'll just put it on here and let you guys see it. All right, so we're still out. There's a big rock bar, but that's not why we're at this spot. The river comes down through, and it kind of bends around. You can you can cut up through this way, or you can go around this little island, and it's rough. We're all soaked because there's some heavier rapids than what we're used to, which, it doesn't matter. That's an old mining tunnel. And you can take this. This is what Terry wants to do, is kayak through the tunnel. Oh, I don't have felt bottom waders, so some of these rocks are... And this is my cell phone, so... So supposedly, if you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> then you can make it through. And there's some class two rapids inside there. The tunnel's only eight feet wide. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get across here. Maybe not. It's moving pretty quick. But I don't see any light. Tyler said he saw it from standing over there. I might try to get over there and see if we can look at it. Alright. You gotta get right here. I don't know if you can see the light down there. That's one quarter of a mile to the other side. I'm scared to death to do that. She's crazy. Uh, I guess I'm going first though. There will be no video while I'm going through that tunnel. You'll just have to believe me. And if you don't, I could care less if I make it out the other side. <laughs> if I don't make it, I'll send all cards and farewells to Terry. <laughs> I want to be remorseful for my untimely freezing death. All right, later y'all. All right, we got our headlamps. And the plan is, I'm gonna go first. Terry's gonna wait about 20 seconds, then she'll go, and then Tyler will go. And I hope to come out about 20 seconds before Terry, and then <laughs> 40 seconds before Tyler. Either way, here we go. Hopefully I'll talk to y'all on the other side. <laughs> All right, we made it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Terry's over here dumping out her waders. I've already done mine. Cuz about halfway down there's a um, a big drop we knew it was there, that we'd already read about it, but I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a drop. And right before we got to it, my paddle got hung up against the wall because it's only about, at some places, it's maybe six feet wide. So my paddle got wedged in the wall. And by the time I could get my paddle kind of a good handle on it, it, um, it had turned my kayak sideways. So I went off that big drop <laughs> sideways. And uh, neither, needless to say, I was, coming down the tunnel upside down in the kayak. <coughs> so I don't want to tell you how soaking wet I am, but from head to toe. <laughs> Tyler made it though, yay for Ty. Tyler came out first. <laughs> yeah, Tyler was the last one to go and he was the first one out. It took me and Terry about, I don't know, two minutes, maybe longer than that. It seemed like not long, but to get the kayaks turned and get the water out of them because they were the top of the kayak was flush with the surface of the water. They were underwater. But, uh, yeah, I got this uh, Old Town, and it's got that little dry box right there, so my phone was perfectly fine. But either way, oh, man, soaking wet. Thankfully, the sun's out, and it's about 70 degrees, so we're going to move on down past this and, and find a place to sit and dry. <laughs> what a joke. Yeah, Terry and her bright ideas. Tyler wants to go do it again. Yeah, that ain't happening for daddy. 
All right. <laughs> no fines, but we're alive. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all.